Hi y'all, it's me, Darla G, and today we're going to do a, the stacked military braid, or really it's, it's a military braid and we're just going to attach two of them together, and I made one and I thought it looked pretty cool, so I'm going to share it with y'all. It's just a regular military braid. I'm using 5 8 in this video. Um, and I'm making it for a garter. So this one right here is 45 inches long. I have it double-sided. My shiny sides facing out, flat sides together. And here we go. So I did a fold over here, staple here in a right degree, 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna start like this just the regular military braid and we're gonna make two just like this i'm not gonna um do it all on camera but i'm gonna go a little ways and then i'll pause and come back and i'll show you how i put them together For my military braids, I've just been kind of letting them get a little looser on the side so they don't curl, try to curl under, but again, it's just your standard military braid. I'm just doing it in a little bit smaller ribbon because it's for a garter and it's for a, um, not a, like a senior or upperclassman or anything, so. And also this is gonna be bigger than a regular military braid after we put them both together. So I have made it in the seven eighths inch and I really like the way that looks too, but it puts a lot of bulk and takes up a lot. So um, not really what I wanna do for a garter, at least not this one this time. Okay, this one did make a bit of a smaller one than I anticipated. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, so you would need more than 45 inches. I would say, uh, yeah, because 45 inches only made, let's see, eight, nine, 10, 11, about 11 inches. So, um, but for video purposes, this is okay. And uh, so you'd wanna double it if you want garter length. So about, let's see, 45, that's gonna be 90 inches. All right, I'm gonna make the second one. Now the second one, I'm gonna make the same way. I'm gonna do the blue on this side, the black on this side, and then of course it reverses the same. Okay. So I made both braids. Here they are side by side. Okay, they're made exactly the same way. And now I'm turning them, putting them together. And I took the same size ribbon in this glitter, in the diamond dust, five eighths. And I fed it through here. I'm not sure how much I'll need. So that's why I'm not cutting it completely off. But let's see. This is eight, 16, 24, about 26 inches right here, 27. So we'll see if this is enough. I think it will be, but I don't know. Okay, so I put, I put it through, going through the black first right here from the outside in, connecting the blue loop from the inside out. Now, I fold it over 
and I just loop it across going black and then blue here. Okay, now I'm not tightening it too much. Same thing here. I don't want to do so much tension that it crinkles any ribbon, but I don't want to leave it loose either. So. And really what I probably should do is a little bit smaller of a ribbon, but I don't have any silver and smaller of the diamond dust, but I do in gold. So I might do the other side in gold just so we can see. But let me just do this. And you wanna make sure you're going through both and don't accidentally get it between your two ribbons that you put together. See, I almost pulled that one too tight, so be careful of that. And just continue lacing. We're almost done with this side. And it looks like that is about the perfect length for this. I think I will just do the same one on the other side, just, just to keep it even. And we can try it with a smaller one later on a different one. Okay, and I think I'll just throw a staple in it right here. Okay, what did I say? 27 inches. Alright, I'll just do that. I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and do it just from right here. No, I'm gonna need to to cut that. 
staple it and cut it, I guess. But we won't see this part really anyway, so that's fine. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Go through and lace them. And this one will actually probably be much easier to keep the tension because of the other side. And maybe I can go ahead and staple that too. And I'm just going through and looping them, making sure I get through both sides of the ribbon. Even up this tension here. Whoops, I should have done it the other way. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to try to staple it. It looks like I did this side maybe slightly tighter than this side, but there it is. So it makes it more of a box style, but it's just a little something different. Okay, thanks for watching y'all. Okay, here it is. 
a second ago, I accidentally put this side on going from this way to this way and it did not look right. So you wanna make sure that both are going the same direction. Okay, thanks guys.